up, Snaz fam? Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all crushing life. As you guys saw, we took the Shelby out on a cruise this morning with some Shelby mates here in Utah. It was glorious. The other Shelbys, they were looking so fine and they were sounding, ooh, you know how it is. Also, we got Jake's GT500 that he had. Just totally different beast. It was a blast to cruise with him. The Shelby has just been wonderful to have back. It's like, I, she wasn't even gone that long but I missed her so much. Now today's video is kind of a general update and a teaser, if you will, of some of the things we have upcoming with these vehicles, modifications and so forth. But specifically, I wanna talk about the problem I have with my vehicles and it's, it's kind of starting to bug me and it's only gonna get worse unless we fix it now. And I kinda of need your help. I want your perspective, your guidance. I gotta run on the roof to show you what I'm talking about. But first, let me make a public service announcement. If you hit another car in a parking lot, do not drive away, do not do a hit and run, stop, leave a note. I mean, you should have insurance, let insurance handle the situation because it could really mess up someone's day. For example, my wife, the other day in the parking lot, she was in the store, someone tagged her and yes, they just drove away. There was a witness to the accident, they got the license plate, they got a picture of the car, they saw who did it. So um, I think the appropriate thing is to kind of follow up on that but if you if you hit a car just just own up to it it just makes everybody's life a little bit better easy easy now a good vlogger like james would go up there but that scares me so we're going to go over here and i'm going to show you all what i'm talking about we've got a gloss purple plaid raptor a satin smart car a satin shelby with a white stripe and a gloss yellow painted viper with a gloss blue stripe i feel like they just don't quite tie in together as they should and we're also forgetting we have the 68 high gloss mustang that i have with my dad is at his house right now but if that were there you would kind of even capture a little bit more how they just i feel like they don't flow and don't forget i'm going to add a car to this fleet as well obviously that car is not going to be purple paint and it's not going to be probably not yellow so it's going to be a different color so we're going to have to wrap it or something and that's the question i'm already thinking ahead what color will i wrap that car so i've decided I've got to make some changes. Okay, this is a bad decision. I'm going to try to get to James's level here. It's steeper than it looks. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's hot. Ow. Woo. The roof is like 100 degrees out here. That roof is hot. Sorry about the angle, but I got the picture. Ooh, I got to tell you, it feels good to be back on planet Earth. It is, it is scary up there. Look how high it is. That's like 20, 25 feet, maybe 50 if I want to exaggerate a little bit. And that would hurt if I fell. And the chances of me falling are actually pretty high. Get it? High, high, high chance of me. Anyways, enough about my emotional issues. When I was talking about the historical decisions I made, I have mods coming, expensive mods coming for the Viper and the Raptor. Some of them will be here next week. Some of them are here. I just got to go pick them up. So I've made decisions. I've committed to a route and I can, I can alternate some things. And I think one of those things is going to be the Viper. I think we're going to do a big change on the Viper. Meaning I don't think we stick with the yellow and the blue stripe permanently. However, we cannot pick a new color until you guys see what I have coming in because that kind of has some coloration to it. Then we got to decide what color we change the Viper to because I feel like the Viper is the most critical car as far as color changes to what will tie into the new car. Unless it's a white C7, then we're kind of set in that way. Also, I would do a nice startup, take her out for a spin. But you guys saw in the last video, there's a reason we got tire treads on the side of the car all over the place because as you can see, yeah, uh, we have no tires left. So frankly, she's kind of undrivable right now. So until we get that fixed, she's just gonna be a garage queen for now, just for a minute, very short, short term and then we'll get her out on the streets again. I gotta say though, doing donuts in the Viper was so fun. It's so easy to spin out. However, I wasn't as good as donuts in those as I am in the Shelby, which means I have to practice a lot more in the Viper. So more donuts coming up. Now, onto the Raptor. You guys know we plasti dipped the wheels. They're looking good in the back, but the fronts are quite disgusting. They're quite dirty, quite gross. And obviously the plasti dip 
yeah i think she's done her time is over so we got to make some changes here also the raptor is almost undrivable right now as well because we tore up the tread just on this tire because if you recall i had an issue with the lockers and and everything and i was only doing burnouts on one tire but we're learning we're getting better so next time we do burnouts in the raptor which actually are are super fun they're going to be better we're going to get both wheels uh spinning now you all know i put the massive whipple supercharger on this raptor and it's totally changed the experience of this vehicle i mean this whipple she's a beast sounds amazing the speed is impressive but the issue i have with the raptor is i feel like yeah we got the purple plaid and the purple plaid is amazing well I think it's amazing maybe a lot of people don't but i feel like the rest of the vehicle just doesn't quite par up to the whipple supercharger that we have and the purple plaid we've got some work if you look at raptors out there you know like there's some legit ones and we want to elevate this baby so she's more in the upper echelon of like uniqueness power ability and just cool factor because raptors they can like they can get up there and we need to we need to up our game here and it's happening very very soon the smart she's just purple and amazing but as you guys know she's not going to stay here forever so she's going away so yes she ties in the shelby nicely and and even the raptor but you got a picture that the smart is going to be gone so i'm going to have the purple shelby and the purple raptor a yellow viper and a different color for a new car so we got it you know we've got some work to do and that's what i'm talking about and by the way i actually just ordered another mod for the shelby and we have this mod over there in a box that is for the shelby as well aside from the whipple supercharger that's still going to go on the shelby we give it a little bit more time put some more miles on it but i do not anticipate doing a color change on the shelby anytime soon so do we match the viper to the purple and the new car purple i feel like that's too much obviously we're not going to do that we got to pick a different color scheme do we go crazy do we go like obviously camel everyone does camel i don't want to do camel we're going to do something different and i don't know so i did comment below let me know what you're thinking i won't be able to respond to them all but i am going to read all your comments i am looking for your ideas your suggestions keep in mind we might end up with a white c7 because james is blue c8 stefan's red c6 it's kind of cool so do we tie the viper in to a white c7 or if i don't get a white c7 i get something else we're going to tie the viper into that so stay tuned give me ideas though help me like foreshadow get a direction of where we need to go with this collection <laughs> guys thought I was gonna leave you. Now I know not everyone in the world aspires to own a smart car. First off, I don't know why you wouldn't want one. But secondly, if you are the person that ends up uh, taking ownership of the smart car and you do decide to sell it, I hope you enjoy it for at least one day because this thing, it doesn't rip, but it makes you giggle. Plus she can go off road like no other, no problem, look at this. Oh yeah, what a beast. Hit it, hit it. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. I also gotta mention that I just got back from a bucket list type trip. Buddies from middle school, we played Pebble Beach four day golf trip. It was incredible. While we were down there, we cruised on 17. <laughs> this is so silly. We cruised, we did a cruise on 17 mile drive with two Lexus LC 500s. And I gotta be honest, those things were sweet. $95,000, a lot of money for a brand new car, but 470 horsepower, super elegant inside and so forth. I'm not gonna buy one, but if you have one, I understand why you do. I also gotta give a shout out to Tyler Hoovy's Garage. Congrats on the H1. What, what beast those things are. If you ever decide to sell it, let me know. I probably can't afford it, but I'm jealous and I'm stoked to see what you do with it or at least fix it up and, and make it drivable. I feel like that H1 would crush this trail, this road, almost as good as the Smart Dart does. Oh, jeez. And one more just for giggles. Okay. I was a little late there, but uh, it, still, it still sounds amazing. Seriously, that is the most basic, most fun car that I have. And just because we park her on the side of the house does not mean we think less of her in any way whatsoever. But that's gonna do it. We got some additions, we got some deletions, and we got some style upgrades that I hope elevate this collection just a little bit more as we hopefully continue to grow. I wish you all the best of luck. Make sure you go crush it. I gotta go to Luau. Peace.